Hello, everyone. I hope you are enjoying MongoDB Live, and thank you for joining me to learn more about the MongoDB connector for Apache Kafka. Let's start with a brief background on Kafka. Kafka is a distributed event streaming platform capable of handling trillions of event messages a day. It's one of the most popular streaming messaging platforms in use. Kafka enables a developer to connect multiple systems together to exchange messages. And by messages, we mean exchange data. And that is the real power of Kafka. It provides a standardized method to enable a diverse set of technologies to communicate and interact. People use Kafka as the backbone of solutions ranging from ETL data pipelines to change data capture systems to IoT data ingestion solutions. The heart of Kafka is its cluster. A cluster is a collection of servers that work together to handle the management of messages, which are really just, in their simplest form, just byte arrays of data. They do include additional metadata about the message itself, including its format, and if there's a schema associated with that format. The messages in Kafka are organized around topics. So messages are created and published to a topic by a producer, and a consumer can read messages from a topic. Producers and consumers can write and read messages using the Kafka APIs. To make it easier to read and write from Kafka, there is Kafka Connect, which is a framework for creating a connector. A connector can be the source of messages that will get published to Kafka, or it can be a sync of messages, which will consume messages from Kafka. There are many different connectors available today on Confluent Hub. MongoDB has an official connector available that can be used either as a source or a sync. The source can publish changes from a MongoDB deployment to Kafka. A sync can consume messages from Kafka and create documents in your MongoDB deployment. This connector is available on Confluent Hub and is verified gold by Confluent, the original creators of Kafka. For the MongoDB connector, when it's used as a source, you configure the connector to subscribe to changes from your MongoDB deployment. And as changes are made in that deployment, events are published to Kafka topics. When the connector is configured as a sync, it will read messages from the topics and write documents to your MongoDB deployment. Let's take a look at the MongoDB connector in action. For the demonstration, I need a few different things. One is a MongoDB deployment, which I have here in MongoDB Atlas. The second is a Kafka cluster that I can use to configure the MongoDB connector. I have one here that is ready to go, and it does have the connector already installed. I can configure the connector as a sync or a source. Let's start by showing the source connector in action. If we take a look at my MongoDB cluster using Compass, I can see I have a few databases. One is the sample mflix database that includes a collection called movies. Let's configure a Kafka source to watch for changes on the movies collection and then publish those changes to Kafka. Let's go configure my Mongo source connector. Since we're going to be watching the movies collection, we'll call this movie source. There are a few different options here for configuring the connector, such as any converters you want to put in place, anything you want to do with error handling. For this, we'll keep things pretty simple and focus on first connecting to our MongoDB deployment. Second, we'll say which database we want to watch. And then lastly, which collection inside of that database to watch. This will watch for all change events published to the change stream for this collection. I can narrow down that list of change events by entering a pipeline. But for this, 
demonstration, I'll leave that open and capture all the events. Now the connector is available and running in my Kafka deployment. When changes occur in my movies collection, I will see messages published to Kafka. Those changes will be published to this Kafka topic, and then consumers of Kafka downstream can read the messages. To show this in action, I'm actually going to set up a consumer from my command line. So this will simulate a consumer that is downstream of Kafka that is really just watching for messages to show up on the topic. I'll go back into Compass and I'll actually make an edit to one of the documents in this collection. So we'll decide that the title for this movie here actually needs an update. So I'll make the edit here in Compass. I'll click update. What will happen is that message change will be published to the connector and it will show up in my consumer that it's available on the Kafka topic. Now other connectors downstream can pick up this message if they want to. So let's switch gears and demonstrate how a Mongo sync connector works. So using my Kafka cluster, I'll configure a MongoDB sync connector. And as a reminder, a sync connector is when we watch Kafka for messages and we'll take those messages and insert them as documents into our database. So the first thing you need to do when configuring a sync connector is say, which topic do you want to watch for messages? And in this case, we're going to watch for messages on the company's topic. So we're expecting messages to come across that topic that are company names. So we'll call this the company's sync. And we also know that the messages that come across this topic are strings. So we'll make sure we can figure our connector to understand that, but the connector will automatically convert those into JSON as they put them into our database. We'll use a cluster that is in Atlas to be the destination for these documents. And we'll say the database they should go into is actually the customer's database. So we're going to end up with a list of companies as a collection in our customer's database. So I'll launch that connector. So you can see I have my sync connector running that is watching the company's topic for messages, and it will end up inserting them into my MongoDB database. So to simulate messages coming across the topic that we want to process and save in our database, we'll actually use a command line producer. So this producer will go and create messages that are JSON as strings so that the connector can take those messages and store them as documents in our database. So let's kick this process off. And right now this producer is creating messages in Kafka. So I can actually go over to Compass and take a look and see that a customer's database is there and companies are, are starting to be inserted into this collection. And right now we have over 8,000 there. The connector is continuing to process the messages and insert documents and we're over 12,000. And then after just a few more minutes, We'll have over 18,000 companies in this collection. And there we have it. Combining MongoDB with Kafka can be really easy with this connector. If you'd like to learn more, you can actually read the product documentation or check out our website. You can actually ask questions and provide some feedback on our feedback engine at mongodb.com. You can also download and install right from Confluent Hub. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of MongoDB.Live.